Some shocking new details have emerged about the circumstances that led to Jackie O's death, and it's making the case a lot more shadier than before. Reports have it that Jackie's mommy makeover was a free procedure by Dr. Zach. Honestly, this makes the entire situation a lot more worse. Okay, so for those who are still somehow new to this story, Jackie O passed away on May 31st, and there has been a lot of controversy about her passing. She flew to Miami for a mommy makeover with a doctor known as Dr. Zach, but things went very, very wrong after the procedure. It's confirmed that she went for a mommy makeover. Dr. Zach posted a picture of them together and captioned it, getting ready for my mommy makeover with Dr. Zach. Stay tuned to my YouTube for the full reveal. I want boobies. Like, I want to get my breasts done. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody told me, no, you're fine. You are. You're perfect. Leave me alone. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. 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 When Jackie passed, people immediately started pointing fingers at Dr. Zach. It also didn't help his case that he deleted the picture from his page when Jackie O passed, and people just found the whole thing super weird. At first, there were so many reports of what happened to her, with some reports saying that she passed away during the surgery, and others saying that she had heart failure. But according to Miami police, she survived the surgery, checked out of the hospital, and was staying at a nearby hotel for post-op treatment, and that's where she was found unresponsive. Miami police report it was just before 10 o'clock Wednesday night when Miami Fire Rescue responded to this hotel on Southwest 1st Avenue near downtown Miami after getting a call about an unresponsive woman. Crews took her to Mercy Hospital, where despite trying to resuscitate her, she was pronounced dead. Well, ever since then, this doctor is getting exposed left and right. Now, I'm not saying if he is to be blamed or not to be blamed, because complications after a surgery can arise. I'm just reporting on what people have dug out on him. First off, his website is filled with negative reviews. But I want to focus on one particular review that accused Dr. Zach of not giving her the proper post-op care after her surgery. She said, this was the biggest disappointment of my life. I waited about two to three years to get surgery with Dr. Zach, expecting great results, and finally got to do surgery with him at a glamorous facility. After surgery, I barely saw any results from 360, and I was already fairly small. Not much fat was removed. Seems my procedure was rushed. A month in, I developed a lot of hardness and lumps, paying additional fees to get rid of. Two months in, I felt there wasn't much improvement and I reached out to the facility and didn't get anyone. I reached out to Dr. Zach and no response. I reached back out to the facility and was informed Dr. Zach had left the facility and pretty much neglected all the patients he had just performed surgery on and those that were fairly recovering and had major concern like myself. No post-op was given to me. I reached out via IG again to numerous pages of Dr. Zach only to see he has read and ignored. Upon booking, it stated it comes with all post-op appointments with Dr. Zach to see he has now neglected his patients. And the crazy thing is, she was not the only one accusing Dr. Zach of not giving post-op care because there are lots of other comments saying the same thing. But somehow, that's still not the craziest part of it all. According to page six, Dr. Zach has a history of suing patients who leave bad reviews because he feels like they are hurting his business. According to page six, Dr. Zach's claim that one patient's review was false and defamatory. He also accused her of encouraging prospective patients to seek services elsewhere by directly engaging with the commenters on the review website. The surgeon voluntarily dismissed the lawsuit without prejudice, meaning it can't be brought up again in December, 2021. But that's not all, because in August 2021, he brought another lawsuit against another patient named Kyla Nuremberg for claiming in a Google review that happy patients of his don't exist. According to page six, she also wrote in her review that patients inquiring about Oka services should read his reviews on real self because any positive ones on Google were likely fake and written by their own staff or friends. But he's not the only one suing people because a patient known as Cunningham also filed a lawsuit against him for almost unaliving her. Yes, it's that serious. Now, before we get into it, I want to shout out Miss Chronicle Speaks because she really did her research and got into the details of it. According to court documents, on or around September 27, 2019, Cunningham underwent plastic surgery with Oka at 4 Beauty. Specifically, Cunningham underwent bilateral gluteal augmentation with fat transfer and liposuction. Plaintiff was an otherwise healthy female when she presented to Oka at Beauty for her elective cosmetic surgery procedure to improve her physical appearance. 
It goes on to say that Oka perforated plaintiff's small bowel and caused life-threatening physical injuries. As a direct and proximate cause of said breach, plaintiff has endured pain and suffering, incurred significant medical bills and expenses, and will be forced to undergo additional operations and medical procedures to recover from the harm inflicted upon her by 4Beauty. Immediately after her surgery, plaintiff began experiencing excruciating pain and swelling. None of her concerns were addressed by Oka or the staff at 4Beauty. Feeling neglected and ignored, plaintiff returned to her home state. Defenders did not attempt to intervene her return home or attempted to communicate with her. Y'all remember the review that said that Dr. Zach didn't give her the post-op care she paid for? Yeah, we're starting to see a pattern here. The documents went on to say, upon arrival to her home, Cunningham went straight to the emergency room at the hospital. Plaintiff was diagnosed to have gone into septic shock and kidney failure. After tests, plaintiff's final diagnosis was sepsis due to an unspecified organism, acute cystitis, acute febrile illness, and so forth. Upon review, Oka negligently perforated plaintiff's small bowel with the cannula used in her procedure. Oka, instead of stopping the procedure after knowing he had acted wrongfully and negligently, continued the procedure. It continued. Due to Oka's failure to provide competent care to Cunningham, she had to present to Houston Methodist Hospital for severe sepsis, kidney failure, and many other issues. As a result of the aforementioned negligence, plaintiff has undergone and will continue to undergo additional preventable procedures, incur costs, and so forth. Child, this is a whole lot to unpack and it's starting to come across like Dr. Zach might be legally culpable for Jackie O's passing. I'm saying might because we don't know for sure, but then Miami police announced that they are investigating her passing. Police tell us they and the medical examiner's office are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death and the case is in its preliminary stages. Yeah, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of legal back and forth in this case and Dr. Zach is right in the middle of it. People are now putting the pieces together and wondering if Jackie O's passing has anything to do with a lack of post-op care. I mean, several former patients have accused him of not taking post-op care seriously, and Jackie O did survive the procedure and even left the hospital, so these speculations make sense. But what doesn't seem to make sense is why Jackie O chose Dr. Zach. It has been quite easy to dig out so many negative reviews, so a couple of minutes would have shown her what was really going on. Well, according to an insider, the reason that Jackie chose Dr. Zach is that he was going to do the surgery for her for free. It was supposed to be a collaboration where she brings publicity to him while getting her body done for free. Like Miss Jackie had over 1 million followers on her Instagram and 800,000 subscribers on YouTube, this explains why she posed for a picture with him in a hospital gown as well as this caption. Someone commented, this entire ordeal is extremely sad. With the amount of bad reviews this surgeon had, I would have avoided him like a plague. I'm sorry he's involved. Another person said, Jackie was most likely getting a discount to promote him. It may have cost her her life though, and I hate this for her and the family she leaves behind. She was perfection. I wish she knew that. Definitely didn't need it. And this other person also commented, I said the same thing because I refuse to believe she saw his review rating and still picked him. This is obviously a very tragic situation all around, but I do want to hear what you guys think about Jackie O getting her body done for free. Do you think the surgeon messed up? Let me know what you think in the comments, then check out this next video.